bar is open, so let's review the Singleton Single Malt Scotch Whiskey 12 years. Hi there, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, today I'll be looking at the Singleton Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, meaning they only use one type of malt. 12 years old, meaning they aged it for 12 years. And this is supposed to taste like luscious nectar. And the description is whiskey from both Pedro Simenes Oloroso seasoned casks and refill X bourbon casks have been hand selected for their honey notes and nutty intensity. The taste is a hive of activity full of soft cooked apples, luscious brown sugar, hints of creamy coffee and roasted nutty notes. This is ambrosial decadence worth savouring. And hopefully with all these uh, apples and sugar and coffee and nuts, there's still some whiskey left over. And this uh, Singleton 12 years single malt scotch whiskey is retailing at 64 Singapore dollars. For that, you get a 700 ml bottle with 40% alcohol content. And as usual, when I do a whiskey review, I'll do it in three parts. First part would be to pour it neat into this tulip glass, where I will be taking a look at the color, seeing how it smells like, and more importantly, taste test. Secondly, I will be putting in a drop of water into the same glass. A couple of drops of water will actually open up the whiskey a little bit more. So let's see how that affects the flavor. And finally, the third way of testing the whiskey is to pour it into a glass with ice. So without further ado, let's try it neat. And color-wise, you know, it looks in between yellow and orange. It's just a nice middle ground between both. Plus, if you swirl it in this glass, what I like to do is to see how long it takes for the legs to come down from the sides back to the liquid. In this case, it's taking a very long time to leave the side. And it's a very good indication because the longer it takes to come down, the longer the finish will be at the back of your throat. So this is a promising whiskey indeed. And scent-wise, now you don't have to put the whole nose into the glass, just by swirling it a little bit, the scent escapes. And while there is that alcohol smell, you know, that, that nail polish, that uh, remover, that varnish smell, it's very muted. Barely a hint of it. However, it smells sweet. They weren't kidding when they said this is a luscious nectar with hints of honey and brown sugar. It does smell very, very sweet. Sweeter than what a whiskey should smell. Nonetheless, taste test one. So while it does smell sweet, there is a, just that hint of sweetness at the tip of my tongue, the front of my tongue. At the back, it slowly changes into a whiskey burn, and that burn is slowly coming down my throat, really, really slowly. It's really taking its own sweet time to go down, and now gradually moving here. It's just taking a break before continuing. So the finish is there. It's just less flavorful than I expected it to be. In fact, other than the fronts of my tongue having some sweetness of this whiskey, the, the back seems quite neglected. The back of my tongue is quite neglected. So if you want to drink it neat, don't expect a, a burst full of flavor. It's great at the start. Nice whiskey burn at the back. Nothing uh, in the middle, or rather nothing at the back of my tongue. Let's see how it goes with some water. And swirling to mix it properly. Adding water has eliminated any sweetness in the smell. It is now just that alcohol smell. So if you're in the habit of having a smell, a sniff of your whiskey before drinking it, don't add water to this one. But let's see how the taste has evolved with taste test too. I highly recommend not adding water to this. It's just a very dry taste on my tongue. There's no sweetness. Uh, the whiskey burn is as good as gone. So I can't tell you if there's any finish or not because I can't taste anything. Um, it's just a very light blend taste 
all over my tongue, which is quite unpleasant. So let's hope it can be salvaged on ice. And this time around, I really am pouring less. Now, letting it uh, you know, swirl in the ice to chill down the whiskey faster, what I want to do is to check the scent. And the sweetness has returned. So by chilling it, uh, whatever blendness was with water kind of came back to the sweetness. Uh, again, the hint of that, that alcohol smell that whiskeys all have, but the sweet scent is definitely back. But let's find out in detail with taste test 3. The sweetness is there, but while it does travel from the tip of my tongue all the way to the back, uh, again, the finish has as good as disappeared, so there's nothing at the back of my throat at all. Plus, while there was a taste on my tongue, it disappeared within 5 to 10 seconds. I wouldn't even say 10 seconds, 5 to 7 seconds, and I lost the taste completely. It now just tastes numb. So what I feel about a singleton, single malt, Scotch whiskey, 12 years old, luscious nectar, is drink it neat. It's still not going to be perfect. I think it can probably be aged a lot longer, um, but at least you have a lingering taste at the tip of your tongue and something going down in the back of your throat. The moment you add anything else to it, water, ice, the taste becomes extremely diluted to the point where it sort of disappears, that long finish evaporates, and you're just left with slight rough tasting whiskey with no character. So for me, I'll choose to have it neat, but it won't be top of the list for whiskies I will be stock. Hey there, thanks for watching. Up to this point, I just want to state that all these opinions are my personal viewpoints, not to be used as an industry standard. But I would like to find out what you think of this Singleton uh, 12 years whiskey. Drop me some comments, let's compare some notes. And if you're still here, do help me click on the like button, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, plus the notification bell because I upload two new videos every week. More importantly, my friend, happy drinking!